Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Without Past, Case 10, Chapter 2. Let's a lot, I said chapter and not the uh, name of the case. Wow. That is so well. Katarina, is everyone in the upper class self involved in eccentric? Lady Apatow was poisoned at the big but many of the guests seemed curiously unconcerned. So you have been talking to the guests. Why did I tell you about this question? We've done our best to keep things quiet, but you have to talk to people who want to catch Lady Apatow's killer. If only I didn't have the appropriate or prospect guardians crying at me on the phone. You know that Lady Highborn's intimidating enough when, she, when he, she's calm. Did you say Lady Highborn? The biggest take place on her estate? Ah, oh, so you are uh, involved in this case, this, in this case, huh? I mentioned her and this, I thought she was going to be the victim because it sort of looks like her. But she's not, she's just such a... Yes, and she would stop crying, it's terrible. Well, Lady Highborn didn't strike me as a tried time, but we'd better talk to her, Katria. What are you doing here now? Were you just invited here? Alright, let's go talk to the Hiver. Hi, you're back. It's been a long time. Hi there. That's all I'm going to say. Go, Katria. I'm glad it only took a few fake tears to have cheap right grab. I wish to see you. I hear there's been a murder on my essay. So soon after my dear niece's device. What's this tasteful? All we want is a swift conclusion to this sad affair, my lady. Perhaps you could assist. I presume you know Mr. Alston since you're alive with the use of your property. I never met you, Gokutia. Mr. Alston had a party planner organize everything. I see that. Oh, my lady Georgina, have you seen her at the picnic? I saw her at the buffet when I went to try the truffles. They were delightful, but Lady Georgina was unimpressed with the food. She was famous in picking her taste. Charlie tried to find his French fire, and she was even more fastidious with people. That's why Lady Georgia never married. No one was good enough. But what was the speak ill of the dead? As a buffet, I played around a cricket, then retired to my saloon. Some other guests also took refreshment, refreshment by the fireplace. Would loot the post, Lady Hyman, but could we search your saloon? And the cook came inside at any point. Those in Moscow, Pocatia, yeah, I should lie down upstairs. My nerves are so very frayed. Alright. Calm down. Stay there. For if for as long as you need here. Well, are you very sad because you just said that uh, you cried just so it could get to you? Maybe. Let's just do this. Let's investigate salute then. Hard yet to quit. Oh, interesting, huh? Anything to say about Mr. Alistair's identity? I don't think it's going to be that fast to reveal. A pocket watch. I suppose that Heimer reads books called Party at Quick, Tria. She strikes me as more likely to write them. But look, behind the car is a faded dedication. Let's look at what's unseen. A clever idea, the girl may have tried to burn evidence. Let's have a look at those ashes. Ah, oh, you were trying to burn again. You know this is not gonna work for me at all. I'm just gonna find you very easily. I'm such an evil person. <laughs> It's a ring. But then, yeah, I bet whoever threw that ring in Lady Hyper's fire person didn't think you'd find it in the ashes. You are right, you all should tell us everything that is to know about this ring. Alright. Yeah, are you gonna have any poem uh, after you finish? Because I so want to hear another one of yours. She's such a badass. I'm gonna say it like that. 
My kitchen bay knows more about party and equipment than you, Elisa. Lady Opperton. The dedication of the credit book reads, My kitchen bay knows more about party and equipment than you, Elisa. A signed by Lady Opperton. Yes, I don't see the irony of writing a snappy message in a book about matters. And I also remember Lady Highworth saying Lady Upton was notoriously difficult to please. But anyway, this makes sense. This education must be meant for a party player. We have to ask her what she thought of it. Alright then. What was that about? Elisa, you didn't tell us you had a spot on this score with Lady Upton. I still found a rush book. Then you can see for yourself. Lady Upton had no business lecturing me on manners. I never met anyone so disdainful as her. I approached her with a proposal to organize a ball, and that was her response. Hey, did you get back at her, I wonder? I thought you were in charge of the picnic. You had plenty of opportunity to slip poison in her food. And ruin my own reputation? Quick idea, I would have gladly poisoned Lady Upton anywhere but here. I should have judged her fight at a charming defense. Alright, you just worry about your reputation here. Alright, we are just gonna wait for this ring to finish. Still a bit. And we are back, so let's check out this ring. But yeah, do you eat enough fruit? This is a little known fact that citrus helps prevent scurvy. The body of the gums, poor wound healing, and citrus fruit? What does that have to do with the ring until you found it in the fireplace? Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. That's a great feat lost percent. Patience, Maddie. I'm getting to it. First, I called the officer to ask to verify that the ring was unquestionably the victim's. Then I subjected the precious battle to some chemical testing which revealed prior to Russia with citric acid, sugar, and alcohol. The other was before the ring was thrown in the fire, it came into contact with a mixture of fruit, juice, and alcohol. But my refresher had known that Sherry Cobbler. I remember Lady Highworth saying, saying Lady Georgian I never drank anything but French wine. Which means it must have been the cure who left drops of their sherry covered on the victim's ring. Except logically, we have to return to the picnic site with this fresh evidence in mind. Wow, nice thinking. I, I forgot it. Alright, back to Veskid Picnic Blanket. Rainbow, right there. Metal pieces, right there. Flower pot, it's here. Drawing. Uh, where's the rabbit? Right there. And target. Yeah, it is a very pretty sketch of a young lady and her admirer. I'm not surprised it's high side days I all take drawing lessons. I don't recognize the mouth, but the dusty brush might reveal something more in that sketch. And those well pieces shall take a lot to restore in your able hands. Nope. Alright, first let's do the sketch. Georgina and Ernest, the summer of our youth. Oh. Yeah, there is. Gretchen sure reveals that people on this sketch are the victim and the poet. It says, Georgia and Ernest are summer of our youth. So they spent a romantic summer together when they were young? Let me explain why Ernest is still writing poems about Georgia. But sure, it also means the poet must have talked to her ladyship today at the picnic. But yeah, we shall seek some answers from Mr. Swansfell about this. Alright. Ah, before hey, let's do the metal pieces. There, I thought we was not gonna load at all. Is that a pistol? Looks like a flare got to be. So yeah, what kind of guest would bring a pistol to a picnic? We should see what Rose makes of this. What the hell? Who would do this? Alright. Would you analyze the pistol? And we are gonna go talk to Ernest. 
Mr. Swansfell, you did tell us you and Lady Georgina were sweethearts. Many years have passed since that brief romance, Copacatia, but alas, your love is never forgotten. Then it's hard to believe you wouldn't have talked to her today. Oh, I wanted her to try some truffles, but Lady Georgia didn't care for them. Then I got roped into a crooked gay with that awful boar, Lord Walter Richwood. He got st start staring at my forehead. God knows why. Copacatia, it was tragic that I should never speak to Lady Georgia again. I should leave off forever in my poetry. I'm sure that's a great coffee to hurry her grave, Mr. Swansfell. Good day. Damn it, dude. Alright, we are just gonna wait for this pistol to finish. So bit. And we are back, so let's look at this pistol. Good day, this pistol you brought me is an antique piece. It's probably mid-1700. Craftsman Street, it's just best to be fired. It'll be fooled by the elegant design and light shape. This beauty is powerful enough to bring down an elephant. Someone took this guy to the picnic rose. I don't suppose they would expect the elephants. We need to know who owns this pistol and what they intended to do with it. This gun is truly one of a kind, Katria. The original design was altered by adding this Concordia emblem to the handle. This addition is a personal touch of the owner, Cornelius Castletown, the mayor of Concordia. The mayor of Concordia is standing to picnic? And he brought a gun? Chief Fry will not be pleased if we are questioning the mayor, but I agree, Katia, we have no choice. Oh, we are finally going to meet the uh, mayor, huh? The head of this town. Someone very important. Alright. Mayor Castletown, forgive the imposter, but we need a minute of your time. We are from the flying squad. Of course, flying squad! How's Chief Fry? Tell you to come here and have a sherry, come on, they are delicious. Unfortunately, we are here on police business, sir. There's been a murder. Lady Upton's dead. You don't say. I spoke her in the cocktail tent. Not that I enjoyed the conversation, but with you and you and me, Katia, Lady Upton had a nervous disposition. That's what happens to women who never marry. If you say so, sir. Anyway, as a mayor of Concordia, it is my duty to maintain coordination with the upper class. So I chat with Lady Upton. Show her my gun. You show her your gun? Sweet mother of pearl, why? Did you mean to threaten her? Threaten her? Of course not. I thought she'd be interested to see a unique piece of craftsmanship, that's all. You must admit it's an unusual conversation opener. But thank you for your time, sir. Look at the ash, if right should be proud of you. The fly squad really is exceptional. But now I must get back to so so socializing. Good day. Alright. I think he's gonna have something more to say about her. <laughs> But yeah, I heard you take it to the mayor of Concordia. I know how I feel about that, she, but I found his gun at the crime scene. It's quite alright, Madeline. The mayor spoke to me and he praised your true attention and good manners. Now I hope you'll live up to his expectation. Tell me you made some progress in Lady Upton's case, Katia. We learned that Lady Upton was a difficult woman to please. She made a vitriolic comment to Elisa about her business. And the mayor and Lady Hymer both described her as high strung. The boy was once in love with her, but that was many years ago. Oh no, I'm I'm befuddled as to which one of them could have killed the late. Katia, there's someone here to see you. She says it's urgent. Go, Katia, come as fast as I could. I received a telegram from Mr. Alistair. You don't say! Why did he write to you? Did he say where he is? Because we still want to know who's this guy. Alright, we're just gonna stop here, we're gonna continue playing chapter 3, so, thank you for watching, look, you liked this video, and I'll see you again, goodbye!